welcome. We are all waiting here in eager anticipation how much drama lies in store. Truly, this is an impressive scene. Surprisingly small for a top-flight venue, but it makes up for that in its history and its heritage. in a good vein of form, which makes this match even more engaging. Well, oh, get ready for some high-grade football. Two strong teams, as you say, full of wonderful individual talent. And we have every right to anticipate some really entertaining football. As to whether we'll see a high-scoring contest, that's a little harder to predict. I'm not complaining, though, because there are good players everywhere you look around this surface, and that's a fine start in itself. So, let's get down to business. So, Jim, any individual performances which are worthy of note? Yeah, Kevin De Bruyne. He's just one of the best strikers of the ball you'll ever see. And that applies just as much to his passing game as it does to his shooting prowess. He generally likes to keep things simple, taking as few touches as possible, but making every one of them count. I've got a feeling... And he'll shoot here! A fine stop by the keeper. Evan Nielsen was supreme then. He had to draw on all of his quality. Launches it high. They get it clear. Another throw in here. Knocks it through. Well, he could have been in, had that final ball been just a little better. Well, he needed to be much more precise, but that was very short on quality into the middle. Opportunity for a goal. That was really close. Well, if he hopes to do better than that, he's got to work on his technique and his timing. The contact wasn't right there, so there wasn't much chance of success. Kyle Walker, De Bruyne, Bournemouth, very much the team with the early initiative. Look, it's testament to a very vigorous start that has clearly caught their opposition cold here. And they just need a goal now to, to confirm their superiority. Lifts it over the top. The counter is on and they have a man advantage. Adams. Plays it to the touchline. Receives the pass. Cuts it out. Hits it long. No, that won't be finding its target. Forward it goes. Plays it to his right. 
booted away. And he lifts it in. And he gets it away. They play it short. Crosses it. And they get it away. No goals as yet from either team. Crosses it. And the cross cleared away. Harland Grealish plays it back it's got away hits the ball but to call that wayward would be being kind Manchester City have found chances hard to come by so that's perfectly understandable Gundogan one played through the middle he decides to shoot goal Manchester City a moment that demanded composure and that's what he produced oh this fella's as slippery as a kneel the way he freed himself to score I mean for that defense it was a case of now you've got him now you don't brilliant They now lead by one goal. Is the name you expect on the score sheet. He has the ability to strike when he appears to be having a, a pretty quiet game. And there you go. We've just seen another example. Possibility here. Great build-up. Pity about the outcome. Manchester City didn't really deal with the wide play. It was a, a lovely dribble down the flank, but really they've got to double up to try and stop that. And I think with the attempted goal too, they were a little fortunate. Who can latch on to that? Gavardio. Bournemouth. Gundogan. He's sprinting up the byline. There'll be a throw-in. his play to the other side and that'll be a throw Kovacic hits it the referee blows his whistle to signal half-time it's a cagey game, this one. Plenty to fascinate the spectators, though. The score is 1-0. Yeah, they're slightly lacking in the goal-scoring department, but they've played well overall. Just a bit unlucky, perhaps, to go in down at half-time. I think there's no reason for them not to bounce back.
The whistle goes for the second half. Bournemouth need to get the balance right to sort this out. Ambition must be complemented by just the right amount of caution. And I think the more he takes the opportunity to shoot. That is wayward. Gavardio, Grealish, unwilling to be out-muscled. Araujo, Adams, looking to exploit the space. Clever ball, intercepts the pass. Good strength, just wrestled him off the ball. Araujo. Oh, lovely feet. Well, we don't need to guess that they expect plenty of, of ball into the box. It's a situation that requires resilience now and, and plenty of fighting spirit. It has to be matched. He was trying to make things happen there for his team and it almost came off for him too. Stones. <laughs> Kyle Walker. Well, the time has arrived to start taking risks. They may well be. He gets his shot away. Just as well, the defender was on hand to mop up the loose ball. Good possession in this spell, but they're not making much progress at the moment. Well positioned to lead a breakaway. Plays the ball out wide. Surely he could put it away. It's good stuff, John. I like what I'm seeing. Well, Jim, you can't do anything but plough forward at this stage, can you? No, well, there's no alternative. Determined to make his way through. And they get it away. And suddenly the defence is on the back foot. Play towards the right side. <laughs> Foul there, no question about it. Referee again decides that a talking to is enough and he keeps his cards firmly in his pocket. Yeah, and he's just entered the last chance saloon. One wrong move now and he's in trouble. Gavardio. We're into the final quarter of an hour. Gunda won. Ah, good interception, just what they needed. Well, they've not been troubled too much at the back, so they can play on the front foot, but losing possession still presents danger. And he's been fouled. Oh, dear, some right old pushing and shoving going on there. They'll be getting their handbags out next. This time. Takes a shot. They get it clear. 
Well, there's no point in adopting a conservative attitude now. As long as they don't lose their shape completely, they have to throw men forward in this situation. Diaz. Kovacic. Switches play to the other side. Grealish. Well, after that scare, surely they'll manage to keep the ball out of the danger zone. Moments like that are not good for the well-being of their fans, I can assure you of that. Couple of changes then in quick succession. I think you have to admire his willingness to keep plugging away, but the manager has, has done him a big favour, I think, by, by taking him off. You know, he was looking very, very leggy. Forward it goes. The danger was there, he dealt with it well. Kyle Walker. De Bruyne. There's the whistle. The game's finished. It all came down to that one slip up at the back. And sometimes that's what decides football matches. So, Jim, the match has been fairly entertaining. Well, once they went behind, I just wonder whether the manager can be pleased with himself. I thought he could have done a little bit more to get them back on level terms. So, thank you very much, Jim, for joining me. And that brings us to the end of our coverage this evening.